So how to make good habits addictive. I've always wanted to be addicted to good habits and I've finally done it. I couldn't stop meditating even if I wanted to because it feels good. I couldn't stop going to the gym even if it was bad for me. Even if people told me based off of scientific things that it was bad for me to do a certain exercise, I would still do it. I couldn't stop playing football because I'm addicted to it. And and today I'm going to tell you how addiction really works and how and, and just a viewpoint on addiction that you've probably never seen. Let's get right in. And let's just see how drugs make you feel and why. And modern society is made to be addicted. Why? Because in modern society, in high paid jobs, you don't do anything laborious. You don't do anything with your body. And let's just see who is addicted. I know I'm, I'm jumping points here, but who is addicted? People who work out in the gym aren't addicted for some reason. Why aren't they addicted? Because they feel their body. When you take drugs, you see, okay, I have a body. And it sounds stupid and strange and crazy to say something like this, but most people don't know that they have a body. Think about it like this. If you do nothing with your body, why would you know that there is a body? It, it is hard to explain this in a way in which it doesn't make me f seem like a total psychopath. And maybe I am a little bit crazy, but I just got these thoughts when I read Dopamine Nation by Dr. Amber Lamke, absolute recommended book. I recommend you read it right now after you watch this video. And in that book, she describes, okay, people who go to the gym don't experience addiction as much as people who don't go to the gym. And people who do a laborious job don't experience addiction to especially drugs as much as people who have like a, like like a like a like a like a not a laborious job like being an accountant or something and when you don't do anything with your body and you certainly like stick a syringe in your arm you see oh shit i actually have a body i'm doing something with my body and this is how drugs make you feel yeah they make you feel awesome they make you see things or whatever they make you hallucinate a little bit but that's not the cool part. The cool part and the part that people like adults take drugs for, right? Youth takes drugs to, I don't know, experience something new or to fit in or whatever. But adults, I think, take drugs because they want to feel their body. This is also why people cut their forearms or something. Because then they see, I actually have a body. They want to feel something in their body. And the way you solve addiction, I believe, is do something with your body. A famous quote by a YouTuber called Hamza, who used to be the greatest self-improvement YouTuber, and now it's just like business and girl advisor, <coughs> has said once, if you want to fix depression and addiction, climb a tree. And I think it's so true to say that because you're doing something with your body in both cases. When you're addicted, you become depressive because when you're depressive, you feel like you don't have any control about your life. And when you're addicted, you don't have that control and you become addicted by not doing anything with your body. So the way to catch two flies with one clap is just do something with your body. Do something hard where you feel your body. So who's not addicted? People who go to the gym, people who have a physical job and people who play physical sports. <clears throat> and of course, those people still get addicted, but not for the reason the broad mass gets addicted to drugs. <coughs> I'm sorry. The solution. The solution, you might think, is just feel your body when you're doing something. But that's really hard, isn't it? You can't really feel your body when you're sitting on your desk all day long. Like... It's really hard to feel your body then because you're only really moving your, your fingers. My recommendation is go to the gym every single day. <coughs> this might seem not like the usual advice of like, um, of like the usual YouTuber, like go to the gym three times a day or, or something. No, no, sorry. Three times a week and just train as much as you feel like. I'm telling you something. 
in terms of fixing fixing addiction and fixing your life, going to the gym and working out full body every single day will help you more than working out three times a week, building a little bit more muscle. And if you really think about it, can you build more muscle being addicted to something? But building more muscle in the gym, making a bigger muscle stimulation in the gym. Then if you're unaddicted to a substance that diminishes your testosterone and therefore your muscles. Because you train your body every single day. Do at least one thing every single day that makes you feel your body. That makes you feel like you, you are moving your body in some way. And you will fix your addiction because getting a purpose won't work. It will maybe work for a couple people, but for the broad mass, this won't work. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's just give you the tips how to do it and not why to do it. Because now you know why to do it. Do something physical. Climb a tree and go to the gym is the advice I would give an addicted person. If you, if I imagined a meth hat or a crack hat or something sitting right in front of me, I know it's a very dark thought, but let's just imagine it. I would first ask him, hey, how do you feel while taking it? And then I will tell him, hey, let's go to the gym or let's do a push up a day or let's go to the forest. Let's go into nature. Let's just take a walk in nature. Why do you think rehab therapy is oftentimes in beautiful areas? Why do you think there is nature around rehab areas? It is because when you feel your body, you are less likely to become addicted to something. And this is the way I want to close this video off. Feel your body and do habits that make you feel your body and they're gonna counteract addiction in a way that is good. Now, how do you make good habits addictive if you don't really like them? How do you make, for example, meditation addictive? Many people meditate and they think about their head. They think about what thoughts they have. And if you want to make a meditation really, really addictive, like feeling good while doing meditation, then you need to feel your body. You need to do so-called body scan meditation where you feel, how does my right quad feel? How does my glutes feel? How do my biceps feel in this position? And you can move around while doing this. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can for starting this meditation. And it's a little bit more difficult. It requires a little bit more focus than mindful meditation but it's certainly worth it if you want to make meditation addictive and it will help you if you want to do it i've only have experience with three different meditation types so chi energy meditation which i probably will teach in my coaching suit so if you want to sign up for that it's in the description first link there and second of all body scan meditation the meditation that i have taught you in this video and the mindful meditation that I teach in every single other video. And mindful meditation is also something you can do. I would tell you to just alternate it or make mixed sessions, right? So I tell you meditate for 20 minutes a day with body scan and 20 minutes with mindfulness. You can split this in any way you want. There's also a split program in my coaching. If you, again, want to buy it from me, you can also probably find it online or make it yourself. But if you want to buy something from me, go into the description and support me a little bit. Now, body scan meditation works for meditation, but how do you make something like journaling addictive? How do you make something like the gym addictive if you don't really feel your body while you're in there? Stop listening to music and train with barbells and dumbbells and body weight. If you train machines, you become tempted to just do the movement with a little bit of weight added to it. But if you do body weight squats, for example, you need to focus on bracing your hips, making your back straight, because otherwise your back will be fucked. Trust me. <coughs> Thanks.
So do anything and everything to feel your body more. And I invite you today to do something in your workout today or tomorrow or right now if you're watching this in your gym to do something that makes you focus on it more. And I would advise you train with free weights and I've put like a video up of machines versus free weights and I recommend you watch it right after this one. It's probably gonna be in the end cut. So you can just click on that when the video is over and then you will essentially be able to watch that video. And in the description of that video, there's a free training program that I've put together for you to give you the most gain from this. It's my personal training routine that I use every single week, week after week. Now, this is how you get workout addictive. If you have any question about how to make any other habit addictive, just write it in the comments and either I or a brother of yours who has always made, who has also made experience with this will help you there. I'll see you down there. Write a comment if you want to boost this video for the algorithm a little bit because it's a win-win for both of us. You get the experience of helping a brother who gets this video recommended because you wrote a comment and boosted the video for the algorithm by like one point up or something. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you like the content I make. It's a win-win for both of us. You get daily videos like this one and I get your subscription, which makes me feel good about myself and which makes me reach my goal of one subscriber a day. Now have a nice day and master your mind.